Hey everyone, so I'm in a bit of a weird state of mind right now because I'm somewhat like in shock yet not completely uh, aware of what is going on I guess. The reason that I want to make this video now is because I wanted to do, I wanted to talk about this before confirmation happens because either if the news is bad I feel like I won't really be willing to talk about it immediately. Right now I don't think things are going in a good direction. As of now SM hasn't confirmed anything about Jessica but it looks like SNSD or eight of them are still going to attend a fan meeting in China and to me what I feel like is going on is that SM is delaying any kind of official statement right now because they want to go through with the fan signing without being hated, if that makes any sense. And you guys, like, I don't, I don't know, I feel like this video could be adding fuel to the fire. It's kind of taboo right now to talk about it without confirmation, but like I was saying, I just, it's actually like something that I'm truly concerned about. It's not even about the views or anything. It's, I wanted to talk to someone about it and 140 characters is not enough to sum this up. We don't even know what's true and what isn't, but with the details that have been released by various news outlets, it looks all too likely to me that what is being said is true. Especially because if her account had been hacked, I feel like it would be hard to, for it to stay hacked this long like, unless she's still sleeping until, like, 3 in the afternoon or something, but... I just, I wanted to make this video with the mind of, like, the state of mind of still OT9, you know? And a lot of people are saying OT9 forever, I still believe in it. Um, yeah, I would firmly support that as well, but I've always had this feeling that, you know, you can never be OT9 24-7 all the time. There's obviously going to be fights, there's going to be people that don't get along with each other, and it's easier than we think to put on a face for the public, in my opinion. I think K-pop idols are very used to doing that. Any celebrity in general is used to, you know, being in the spotlight and being able to hide those things. Heck, even in real life, we do it all the time. So I just want to say, yeah, I, I agree, I want to believe in Nine forever, but I kind of believed in it as a business model more than an emotional thing. I believe that they would want to stick together because, you know, they are successful, they have fun together, I'd like to hope, but I wasn't expecting them to be best friends for like 20-something years, you know? I just thought that, you know, they'd come so far, they'd come for seven or eight years, and that they'd go for another three at least. I don't even want to speculate too much, I know that people are probably going to dislike this because it's controversial right now, but like I said, I truly wanted to talk to people about it. If the situation is true, then yes, I am worried about Jessica because she is a victim in this situation, I believe. But I, what worries me more is the fact that the other eight would let this happen. I would rather see them take a very long hiatus and try to sort out priorities. Like I was saying, it's easy to cover things up. I think that maybe this has been brewing for quite a long time. I don't think that Jessica is necessarily like, I want to leave, it's just that she wants to explore other outlets and it seems to contradict or go against what SNSD and SM wants her to do. But um, I still think it's possible that this could be resolved. It just seems like there's lots of miscommunication going on right now and maybe not lots of leeway that's been given to her or anything. But yeah, I don't want this to be too much of an opinionated video. I just want it to be an open discussion. That's how I feel on the matter. I'm not completely crushed yet because I haven't accepted what's going on. And who knows, I could be completely way off. This might be totally unconfirmed and proven wrong. But the fact that SM doesn't give an answer to me means they want more time to figure out how to deal with the issue. There's just too many signs pointing to the fact that yes, this could be true. And I feel like, I don't know, I just wanted to talk about it now because I feel like it can't even be covered in one video, like what I want to say. So those are my current feelings as of 9.30 Mountain Standard Time, Monday, September 29th. 
<sighs> if you guys didn't know, I recently mentioned that I think Jessica is my ultimate bias, and I just, I guess I just don't feel like super, super strongly about biases, but she is my favorite female idol, I think, and it, it's just, I don't know. I don't want to think about what happens after this, which is why I wanted to make this video now. I want to make this video thinking that, you know, the nine of them still exist together. So yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say for now. Just please don't take what I've said too seriously. Nothing's confirmed, nothing's unconfirmed, which worries me the most. I just couldn't really sit here and watch things happen. I couldn't really do homework, so I thought, you know, I might as well talk about it. I'm not going to blame anyone. I'm not going to put the blame on anyone yet. What I said five minutes ago, I probably would disagree with right now. It's kind of just like a stream of consciousness thing that I needed to explain. I don't know. But obviously, I'm a so on, and Girls' Generation is my favorite group, and the fact that I don't know what's happening with them right now. The fact that they were the staple group for me in K-pop makes me wonder, you know, I don't know. I just don't know anything now.